We have more to learn, but we know enough now to see Al Shamrani for what he was, a determined AQAP terrorist who spent years preparing to attack us. Tonight, the FBI has cracked into the phones of the Pensacola Naval Air Station shooter, highlighting new evidence in the case. And as CBS 42 Washington correspondent Kelly Meyer reports tonight, the FBI was able to unlock the phones without the assistance of a well-known tech company. After five months of frustration, the FBI finally succeeded in unlocking Al Shamrani's phones. On Monday, Attorney General William Barr said the FBI was finally able to unlock the two iPhones belonging to Mohammed Saeed Al Shamrani. The Saudi Air Force second lieutenant was an aviation student at Pensacola Naval Air Station last December when he opened fire in a classroom, killing three U.S. sailors and injuring eight others. We now have a picture of him we didn't have before we obtained this evidence. FBI Director Christopher Wray says the information on the phones provided important evidence. The phones confirmed Al Shamrani had ties with Al Qaeda not only prior to the attack in December, but even before he arrived in the U.S. He wasn't just coordinating with them about planning and tactics. He was helping the organization make the most it could out of his murders. Both Barr and Ray took aim at Apple. We received effectively no help from Apple. Ray says Apple's unwillingness to unlock the contents of the phones wasted precious months in the investigation. Barr says Apple should start cooperating with U.S. law enforcement. For the safety and security of our citizens. Barr says the U.S. used the information in the phones for a recent counterterrorism operation in Yemen that targeted one of Al Shamrani's Al Qaeda contacts. In Washington, Kelly Meyer, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.